Hi everyone, Mr. Morgan Lewis here at the school. In this video, we're gonna go back to some uh, Muay Thai techniques that we went through on a, a video of quite a while ago now, which was b basically an introductory lesson to Muay Thai. So you can always go back into our videos and check that one out if you missed that. But we're just gonna go through a couple of different striking tools that are useful in self-defense as well. But of course, they should only be used if it's absolutely necessary because they can be quite dangerous techniques. Um, what we're gonna do is just go through the elbows and knees for a little bit um, and how to perform them correctly when you're training them um, train them with either a heavy a heavy bag like this not a, a wave master you want something that's quite solid and uh, you know also you don't want to go running the risk of scratching the skin off your elbows and things like that um, also you can practice with air shields at, uh, for the knees and you can also practice with focus pads for elbows but just make sure that you and your partner both understand what you're doing and therefore you look after each other because uh, you don't want to go from doing a wrong move. So, elbows. Obviously, one of the most effective, as, as a matter of fact, elbows and knees both together are probably, probably some of the most effective weapons or limbs on your body to use for striking. As I said, it's not a case of, you know, just use your elbows when it comes to self-defense. I'm talking about, you know, a, a really life-threatening situation, you know, very conflictive where you need to do what you use necessary to make sure that you're, you're still standing and able to, to get away, okay? So to practice a standard elbow, the, the mistake a lot of people make is they'll put their hands together like this or they put their guard up and just go like this. The thing is about an elbow is you have to be really, really close to use it, okay? That you have to virtually be, as some people say, in, in, the, in the grill, okay, to make it work. So when you're, when you're performing the striking action, you should also be thinking about your defense as well. So I'll do it from both sides. So when I'm striking with my, with my elbow, which is cutting across at a 45 degree angle, by the way, because the thing about this is it can go through the guard or around the guard. It can bring the guard down, allowing you to go in for another strike. Uh, but it's also good for getting out of grabs, okay? So from here, when I do the strike, my other hand, which I'll keep open just to make sure you can see it, is going to brush past my head this way because as i said i'm going to be really really close to my target i don't really want to be leaving myself open in case i miss or they guard it or something else okay so as the strike comes in this one should be drawing back so facing you it should be draw and strike so keep my hands closed this time boom so you've got my chin tucked behind the shoulder here and i've got this hand protecting this side of my head so i'm basically wedged between my my arms, meaning I'm 100% defended, at least that close. Obviously my body is exposed to potential attacks, but hopefully your elbow will get in there very, very fast and there won't be any retaliation, okay? Um, so from here, when, you, when you're when you practicing striking, it's elbow in and cover with this one here. Now as you're doing it, you wanna make sure there's a little bit of hip twist, okay? So don't rely on just swinging your elbow in. It's a bit like the hook. When we, teach, when we teach you how to do the hook in your kickboxing, we always obviously don't advocate going like this and then like this when you do it, because obviously you can rip your shoulder. It's the same with the elbow. If you put too much emphasis on swinging back, even if you cover up, you still could leave yourself open. And if you overextend and miss, then again, you can pull your shoulder. So it has to be very, very close. The elbow and the hooking motion are very, very similar. There's your hook punch, there's your elbow. So the only difference there really was my hand was still here and I still twisted and pivoted here, okay? So it's covering at the same time, striking with this one, little pivot, boom. And you can see it's quite powerful by itself. Let's try the other side this time. So again, elbow strikes, but this one's gonna draw up. I'm not gonna grab my neck as such, okay? I don't wanna commit to that per se, because I want that ready to potentially do another strike. So I'll just cover myself here, boom, and going at the same time and really get used to practicing the, the hip twist, like this. Okay, now that brings us now to the knee strike. Now for the knee strike, obviously grabbing your target and pulling in is, is most effective, but really you should be using your whole body. So if you just grab your target and just bring your knee up, you get what you get. Usually if you're gonna do a knee strike, you're either gonna aim for the side of the thigh or you're gonna go for the midsection, okay? Um, it can be just as dangerous as the elbow, so if you're gonna practice it, be really careful with each other. But um, from here, you grab, you go knee, but what you've gotta do is you've gotta push your hip forward here. 
So what it's actually doing is I'm actually pulling my target in by moving my body back to keep out of danger, okay? To keep some distance between me and my target. So if I, di if I, didn't, if I didn't do my, my hip thrust with my knee, I'm not actually reaching my target at all. I'd have to grab like this and then do it. Whereas if I put my hip forward, like so, I can actually reach my target. So pulling in and pushing with this at the same time is the key. Obviously with this heavy bag, it's quite static, so I can't really pull it in and send one end back, but you, you get the idea. So I grab, and as the strike goes in, we just tip the hips forward. It's a bit like when we do a front kick, boom. Particularly in Muay Thai as well, you have to send your hip behind it to give that extra power. All right, so from here it's in, boom, come back. And then the other side, in. So this pulls in and this thrusts forward, but I'm tipping back. I'm not leaning back, I'm tipping my hip forward. That's the key. It takes a lot of practice. So it's here, boom. Okay, so you've got the elbow and you've got a basic knee strike. Okay, elbows, you can practice on, well, you can practice both on these, but if you don't have access to that, knees on the air shields only and elbows on focus pads only. Okay, and make sure you take care of each other when you're practicing. But um, hopefully uh, you've got something to work with there. All right, but as usual, give us a, a like and a share, comment on the video, let us know what you thought and uh, practice with caution at all times. All right, look forward to more Muay Thai content in the future. But for now, take care of yourselves and as always, happy training.